many of you know the favourite pastime of Australians is swimming, paddling, boating and fishing. And these are done at our many rivers, creeks, lakes, dams and beaches in Victoria. Even though we have over 38,000 volunteers patrolling our beaches, providing education and training and life-saving activities, it is not enough and lives being lost has been on the increase. Unfortunately, in the last year, there has been reported a whopping 40% increase in deaths in Victoria on the 10-year average drowning rate. Many drownings for 2021 and 2022 occurred in open spaces such as beaches, inland rivers, creeks and streams, places Australians like to go. Victoria is one of the most culturally diverse societies in the world, a place where people born in over 200 countries call home. In fact, half were either born overseas or of at least one parent who was. So did you know that men over 18 years of age are still the majority of the annual drowning deaths with more than a third being born overseas? So let's dig a little deeper on who and when these drowning deaths occur. 25% of drowning deaths are children under 14 years old. 25% occur during the winter months. 31% of lives lost over the past decade involved alcohol or illegal drugs use prior to drowning. 79% of people that drown in boating accidents were not wearing a life jacket or it wasn't worn correctly. And 82% of deaths resided in major cities in Victoria. So it's not about tourists, it's about your local community. The challenge in respect to drownings is getting paramedics and emergency services to those open spaces quickly, as many are remote, are large stretches of land, or have multiple access points. So if you're responsible for parks, playgrounds, recreational areas, boating and water sports, and you're managing any of those open spaces, please consider implementing an ESTA emergency marker strategy in your next budget. Emergency markers with their three letter, three number code provide triple zero with accurate GPS data specifications. So if there's an incident, an accident, or a drowning, you can better look after and protect your community and save time and save lives.